Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. I've got us back, or we should be back, to this part of the map now, just by tall trees. Yeah, so we need to go to north tall trees. Um, can we actually zoom out and find the name of that town? No, no, we can't. That would be too convenient. God damn it. Anyway, we need to go to north uh, tall trees and find our plants. For Mr. Dickens. Because he seems to think that he can cure this plague. I don't think he can. But uh, we're about to find out. I guess. Come on you. Let's get out of here. Alrighty. Now, if I was a betting man. Which I'm not. I would say whatever he's going to cook up. Is probably going to make more mess. For us to clean up. I mean that's generally the, uh, the way it went. If I remember correctly. And I'm fairly sure I do. We need to head somewhere up this way. Hopefully we won't have to go all the way there. We should run into what we need. What would be really nice actually is if we run into war. Because that is the horse that I want. He set zombies on fire. Right, tall trees. This uh, once was, of course, bustling with big feet. What did you say? Big foot eye? Big feet? Hmm. Curious. But, of course, we have put them all to the sword. Or the gun, in, uh, in, in, in our terms, I suppose. Oh, hello. Right, you stay there, Pesto. I'm going to have That's a look. Snowdrop, here we go. This is what we need. We need two of these suckers. So, we need one more. You need my help? What do you need my help with, my good sir? Oh, is that so? Well, I've got the cure for what ails you, my friend. I certainly do. No, sadly not, my friend. There we go, buddy. You are now free. Free of your misery. Now, where is our friend? I can't imagine it'd be that much fun, to be honest, to be a zombie. Shambling around, aimlessly wandering. Hoping some delicious neck meat would uh, wander your way. At least you won't be hungry, I suppose. When you can eat damn near anything. Well... Anything that's made of meat, anyway. But then, everything's trying to kill you. So, I mean, there's that, I suppose. Whoa! A little bit eager there, my friend. A little bit eager. It's okay, though. It's all gravy. Now, I think we're actually outside the area of tall trees now, aren't we? Yeah, tall trees is kind of here. Would that be north tall trees? I mean, it's north of tall trees. Um, let's have a look anyway. Let's go. The game is uh, dropping some frames as well. Oh, is that what we need? I'm guessing the plant we're looking for actually only spawns in the snow. No, uh, here we go. Here we that's perfect. Now we have everything we need for Mr. Dickens. Okay. Now let's set a waypoint. We need to go... We need to go there, I believe. It was the fort, wasn't it? Benedict Point. Ah, Fort Mercer is where we need to go. Ooh. Well... I guess we're going to head back here and make this town safe once more. I suppose if it happens very, very rarely, very periodically, it's not too bad. As long as it's not all the damn time, you know. After all, John here, he's a busy man. He's got a riddle to solve. He can't be, oh dear, can't be wasting his time saving these Denzons. 
To be fair, these guys should be fairly apt uh, at looking after themselves by now. Never mind. We'll take this lovely picturesque walk back into town. And by walk, I mean horse ride. I was almost going to stop then and pick up that plant. But uh, there's no point. Sounds like someone's having some fun around here. Letting off some rounds. Blowing off some steam, if you will. Hopefully not getting his or her neck. Cheers. Next, Jude. If we restart... If we restart, are we going to lose our horse? Are we going to be back to sparkles? One way to find out. Oh shit, look, mutt. Bloody dog, fuck off. No, haha. -ha. You're made of sterner stuff, Pesto. Made of sterner stuff. Let's go, my friend. I am really happy about that. Oh, dear. So if you die, you do come back. At least if you die by drowning. That's not too bad. Oh, God. Zombies. Oh, my. Let's get out of here. Right. Now, onwards to the cursed camp. Hey, buddy. Are you coming with me? Oh, Jesus freaking Christ. Pesto. You're going to give me a heart attack, buddy. You get yourselves into situations that you can't get out of as well. You know what, buddy? Let's just go this way. Let's just go this way. Launch yourself off the cliff, mate. It doesn't even matter. Or, you know, have a... You know what, buddy? You, I tell you what, you stay there. You stay there. We go down here. Okay. <laughs> Artfully done, John. Artfully done. That was smooth, John. That's as smooth as it gets. Okay. Well, we get out of range, so you despawn. And then you, you, you cut. Oh, shit, on a shovel, almost. Right, we'll wait for you to despawn, bud. Um. I, uh, ooh. I hope we're going somewhere good, clan. I, I, mm, I do, I do. Uh, I'm not sure, though. Oh, almost. John, what are you doing? John, work with me, buddy. Jesus Christ, you're a madman. You're off your head. Have you been drinking again, John? I think he has, guys. Oh, that'll do. That's that. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, slippery, slippy, slippy. Yeah, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Now, pesto. Good horsey. That's what I like to see. Let's ride, my friend. Let's ride. Now, this place is under siege once more. All right. You stay there, my friend. Don't worry your ugly little head about it. Oh, God. There we go. Town safety. Don't worry, my friend. I will save you, more or less. I may or may not save you. This actually doesn't look like we're going to save you. I think you're already dead. Oh, the humanity. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. We need burning zombies. But I don't think we're going to get enough of them here. To be honest... Maybe we should be using the other pistol. Good night. Maybe. Or maybe we should be using the rolling block rifle. Ah, look at this fellow over here. He has no idea that the sword of Damocles is dangling over his head. Ah, nice. 
Excuse me, love. Could you just... Nope, nope. Stand still. Stand still, my dear. These cartridges are hard to come by. No, no. Well, not quite. Buddy, is that you making all that sound? It's ridiculous. And I can't even hit you at this range. I told you John's been drinking. I did say that John's been on the sauce. Okay. I think we should just go back to the handy revolver here. It is fairly good. I don't think it's their belief in reincarnation, uh, John, that actually um, started this whole thing off. I'm just saying. Alright, let's just tag you. And tag you. And tag you. Go for it, bud. There we go. Nicely done. Ooh. There's a lot of fire. Go right there, guys. You want some bullets? I got plenty of bullets. Who else wants bullets? You? There we go. Okay. We got sniper rifle ammo. That's good. Well, I'm not sure who's the unlucky one, John. I mean, if you think about all the situations we've been in since this whole thing started, are you sure they're the unlucky ones? I mean, they had a painful death, you know. A terrifyingly painful death. But I'm pretty sure it's quick. Ah, fire bottle. Just what we need for our challenge. Oh, we're on fire, John. John, John, you, you, you good, buddy? You good. John doesn't care that he's on fire. I suppose he's probably got more things to worry about. Especially the family, you know. If that's what the wife's like, ooh, I hate to see the mother-in-law. That's all I can say. Alright, what have we got in here? Tomahawks. Well, okay. They're actually an item that I keep forgetting about. A rather nice item, too. Uh, John, we're on fire again, buddy. No? Don't care? Good, John. Horse pills? We don't need those. Our horse is undead. But thank you, game. I guess we'll put them in our pocket with everything else. Come on, Pesto. Time is money. Pesto... Have you got yourself stuck? Have you walking into fire? Do I need to remind you that you're undead? So fire shouldn't really bother you. Alright, good enough. Good enough. There we are. Alright, well that was an ordeal and a half, wasn't it? I suppose... I suppose we could just travel to where we need to go. By travelling to where we... Oh dear. By travelling to where we need to go, we might run into an event. We need to run into a campsite event so we can get some uh, maps. If we can. These maps do appear to be a myth. I did double check uh, online. And uh, indeed... Those uh, maps of the campsite that we've been looting are oh, whoa, sorry, lady, are what we need. They should have our tre treasure maps in. Um, but for whatever reason, ours haven't. I don't know if that's a bug because they should definitely have them in. Unless, as I kind of suspect, it's a um, it's a chance thing. If so, ladies and gentlemen, that's bullshit. That is extreme amounts of bullshit. We're just going to have to keep going and hope that camps spawn. Although, having said that, camp spawning doesn't seem to be super rare. 
Just rare enough to be annoying. Here's the McFarlane Ranch. Very nice place, owned by a lovely lady. Obviously, her, her dad has deceased now. You know, nothing to do with us, of course. I mean, we killed him, but he was already dead. Kind of complicated, you know? Zombies certainly make things complicated. Well, oh, there's an undead goat back there. Satan, is that you? Probably not. However, that would be an awesome little cameo. A cameo by Satan himself. Yes, I would support this. I'm glad that this horse has unlimited stamina. But it is a shame you have to mash the button all the way. Because as soon as we stop mashing the button, the horse slows down. Dreadfully lazy of it, you see. And no events have come up yet. Which is a trifle frustrating. Never mind. Nothing we can do about our predicament for now. To be fair though, oh. Hello, buddy. Uh, I would have helped you, but the event seems to have gone. That is one problem that I actually had playing the main campaign. Uh, quite often these events spawn. Um, and obviously you're running at maximum speed, so you fly past them. And you get so far past them that uh, the event despawns. Dreadfully frustrating, you have to understand. Luckily, things like camps don't despawn. Until you get sufficiently away from them. So, that's good. Who would have thought this thing was so far away? I mean, Jesus. Mr. Dickens better be pretty chuffed about this. Otherwise, me and him are going to have words. Those words might involve my gun. Well, that's a little bit harsh. Might involve my rope and a train track. In these uncertain times, who knows? Maybe Aussie's crazy train will be uh, on the tracks. That would be entertaining. At least I'd find that entertaining anyway. Come on. I'd find that terribly entertaining. Just handbrake my horse around the corner there. There we go. You're a tough old horse, Percy. Percy? Yes. Now that's more like it. You're now called Percy. Whoa. Those bats just came out of nowhere. Like a bat out of hell. Ha, ha, get it? Because uh, meatloaf. Yeah, I don't get the reference either, but still. Oh, God. Alright, stay here, buddy. Stay here. You going to let me in or do I have to climb in? I have to climb in, don't I? John, you got to work with me, my friend. you got to work with me. Janky ass controls. There we go. Hey, guys. I'm back. Have you got that snake oil salesman around here somewhere? Did I say that out loud? Snake oil? Probably. Where is he? We got what he wanted. Uh, you are kidding. You are kidding me right now. Because we had a black screen, it didn't save. Are you serious? Fucking bugs, man. Well, I suppose it's not the end of the world, but annoying nonetheless. What do these actually do? Shows all nearby herbs on the map for 20 minutes. That's what they do. Okay. Well, that's terribly useful. 
Alright guys, well I apologise. Um, I guess I should have checked. Hang on. Yeah, we... St okay, the quests are still done. I suppose we've only got to go to Gap Tooth uh, in the end of the bloody world now, is it? But... Rockstar should be ashamed of themselves for leaving the game in such a poor state. And the excuse that this is an old game isn't really acceptable, considering it was their patch that broke it. Apparently, if you uninstall the patch, <coughs> um, all these bugs go away. However, I've heard that sometimes, if you uninstall the patch, it can do weird things to your save game. So, as I'm already 10 videos into this LP, uh, this is 9, ninth video. I don't really want to do that. So we shall plow on like the heroes that we are. We shall grit our teeth and turn our faces towards the wind. Or the bugs, I guess. It's a shame. It is a shame. Because it's a fantastic game. And as far as I can understand... It's only the Undead Nightmare that's affected. The actual main game is fine. So that is disappointing. Especially from Rockstar. I mean, come on. Rockstar. Oh, more towns have been added. Okay. Hang on. Okay, we... Nah... No, that's fine. We didn't do these these towns. Right, let's eat a map. I assume he just eats the maps. I can't see how else they would be used. Come on, easy up there. Unless he reads them and throws them away. Which would be dreadfully wasteful. This looks like the one. It does. At least this shouldn't be too hard to pick up now. So we've got one... Yeah, and we have... Damn it, that's not what we want. We've got coyote... Bloody bastards everywhere now. Fuck you, coyotes. All right, you bastard zombie. Yeah, you go, you go get them. Go get them. Yep, they are undead. Which means we need headshots. Unfortunately. It is kind of cool, though, that you need headshots to kill all these guys. And it's also curious that they've added um, undead... Oh, God. Hello. You guys are fucking with the wrong cowboy, I'm telling you. Alright? Or the wrong outlaw. Or is he meant to be all straight-laced now? It is cool that they've added... Um, Undead uh, items that you can collect off these guys. But at the same time, it's strange because I don't know if there's going to be. Oh, God, how many coyotes are here? Seriously. And our ammo counter is the number of the beast right now, which uh, pleases me greatly. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything they actually do with these coyote teeth and whatnot. What a waste of time that was, going around gathering all these items, just to have to do it again. Yes, might Desert well. Sage. That's what we need. What do you mean you might as well, John? You have no choice. We have to do this. This isn't an option, John. I mean, guess we could leave old Dickens to fend for himself there, but... Uh, I don't think he's uh, capable of looking after himself in any... Uh, any stretch of the imagination. How the guy hasn't swallowed his own tongue yet, I don't know. Not that I have little faith in the fellow, of course. Okay. Barely worth getting on a horse for these. 
Come on. Yes. Oh, you little fuckers. At least I think we have to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's one or two of them. Hopefully that counts as a headshot. I think it does. Fucking dogs, man. Honestly. Certainly are the scourge of this land. One more. Oh, I think they're coming back. Well, at least we're doing the, the place of service here by weeding some of these mongrels out. Only two teeth? I'm disappointed. Oh, bastard! I don't think so, my son. Swallow that, you prick. Oh, he had seven teeth. I wonder if he had teeth from the other one as well. No. Carrying his mate's teeth around. It's anybody's guess right now. Oh, we picked up an eye as well. Well, an eye for an eye, I guess. Ooh. That fucking mutt's back. How did he do that? All right, here they come. Right. That is what we want. The spread on this thing. Sorts the men from the boys. Yeah, you better run. Have some buckshot for your ass piece. Bastards. Here he comes. Nope. That's our horse, I think. If you come at me, I'm going to kill you. Remember how I killed your family? I hope some of your friends as well. I hope I killed everybody that you cared about. Everybody that was near and dear to you is now dead. And proper dead this time. Not that pretend dead that these zombies like to waffle on about. Right, hopefully this is going to be the last. Yes, there we go. We did it, guys. Alrighty. Well, clan, I think we're ready to get out of here. Oh, yeah. Might want our horse. Oh, Pete. Was it Pete or Percy? I forget. I like Percy. He looks like a Percy. A mythical creature has been seen in the area. Oh, guys. <gasps> it's war! Right. Hey, war. Yes, war. What are we doing? No, 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 no. Don't. Percy, fucking dickhead. Right. Yes. Hey, war. This is going to get a little uncomfortable for you, my friend. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. We, we've got this. We've got this. No, no, he's good, he's good, he's good. Oh, shit on a shovel. You got this, John, you got this. Your whole life experience has come up to this moment. No, 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 you're fine, John, you're fine. You're fine, my friend. You're all good. No, come on. Come on, wall, you big old bastard. Oh, yeah, baby. We have war. Now, this horse is summon else. Thanks for all the fun, Percy. You've been wonderful. Now fuck off, because you've been upgraded. War can certainly set enemies on fire. War is a bit of an animal. The best kind of animal. Oh, yeah, and of course. Uh, is it journal? Oh, and we need to do the undead bolters again. God damn it. Although, that would be a lot easier to do with war. So we've only got... We've... Right, four horses. We're on rank three. Oh, yes, because th that is rank three. So we found pestilence. We found war. We need to find... Um, death, which we get automatically... I'm trying to think, what are the four horsemen? War. Ah, famine. We haven't found famine either. 
Alright. Death is the best one, from what I understand. I think famine and pestilence are, are not so great. But war, I think, is my favourite. I mean, he's on fire, yo. Magical, undead fire. We can pretend we're Ghost Rider. Undead cocksuckers. Hang on, let me set these guys on fire. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. I don't need a friendly wager. We do not need a friendly wager. We have a war horse. Although running these guys down is a little harder than I would have thought. There we go. Yeah, setting enough of them on fire is going to be a little bit of an art form, I think. Not too bad, not too bad. You're most welcome, my friend. You're most welcome. Now, let's get back to Dickens. I wonder if anyone's going to comment on the fact that uh, our horse is on fire. I mean, sure, sure, sure. We've seen undead horses and uh, that kind of thing. But a horse that's on fire. I mean, that is something else. And there's only one like him, and he is ours. A noble, majestic animal. Now we need to find some more bolters. If we find a bolter, we can set the bastard on fire. Oh, hello, Dickens! I didn't think I'd find you here. I do hate this eccentric idiot. I know, John, I know. Ah, here you go. Now these should help. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. Really? You got your sums wrong. Oh, ye of little faith. Now listen, John. You're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've now you're talking. Plan, but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Well, excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... <laughs> because we're old friends. I know. You better not be wasting my time. Uh, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. <laughs> He's just giving us some really good bullets, I hope. I really don't like that fellow. Um, phosphorus coating. Wait. So, how do we use that? Phosphorus coating is a treatment that modifies the ammo set to... Set the undead ablaze with the blue fire. Open your satchel with the correct herbs on... Ah, okay. So there's a reason. So what herbs do we need? Alright, well, we're going to have to look into that a little bit. Right, let's go save the game, guys, because we are out of time together once more, sadly. Right, I will look into this. Phosphorus ammo, eh? Hmm. 
I'm quite the fan. Oh, who's that? What is that, I should say? Missing... Missing souls. Missing souls? Alright. That sounds curious. Consider my interests piqued. Oh, Jesus. Don't die, war. Don't die. Now, are we heading in the right heading? Kind of. There we go. Now, hopefully we're not going to run into any uh, innocent bystanders, because that would be totally tragic to set them on fire. Hilariously tragic, you know? Ooh, listen to that cougar growl. That has a very stock sound effect. Makes me think of Turok. And that map still hasn't worn off yet, but that's fine. Back to Fort Mercer. So I wonder where these lost souls have gone. Yeah. Well, I, for one, am looking forward to finding out. Uh, there's the fort. Ah, a ladder. What's better than a climbing box? A ladder. A ladder is better 81% of the time. Right, now before we go looking... Ooh, do you know what's better than a ladder? Two, work, two legs that work. Oh, hello. In a time of enormous crisis, I might have known the government have you boys doing the work of a common clerk. Yes. Well, thank you for your input, citizen. I'm glad you find the life so funny. <laughs> My pleasure. Do you think this poor girl's family finds life quite so funny right now? Family? I assume she was a common killer. She's a missing person. Missing presumed dead, I guess. But you keep cracking them jokes. I'm sorry, mister. I guess I spoke a little out of turn. I ain't the one you should be apologizing to. Just find the girl. She's 15. Millicent Waterbury. Yeah. 15, eh? Alright. Take down the poster. Oh, I remember that animation. Well, I guess we have someone to look for in the next episode, guys. Now, let's go and hide. Hide? John fucking Master, we don't hide. We're going to go sleep. No, they don't need sleep. We only need sleep sometimes. Sometimes when we want to save the game, we need to sleep. Hey, I didn't I didn't make the rules. No. Where the hell's the bed? It's gonna be upstairs, isn't it? Of course it's upstairs. Why wouldn't it be upstairs? It's always upstairs. Gordon Bennett. Okay. It's not in this room, is it? No. That'll be too easy. We can use science. There we go. There's a man that knows what he's talking about. Right, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, we're going to go look for a missing girl, I suppose. Enjoy our new horse a little bit more. Should be good. As always, guys, till next time. I miss killing my former friends. At least that's...